Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with the last flight of Ariane 5 Imminent. Somebody posted on Twitter an image, a mashup of Ariane 5 and the shuttle boosters turning it into sort of an Ares 1 thing with the Ariane 5 tank on top and the four segment booster from the shuttle on the bottom. And that obviously would not make me happy. Uh, I'm not a big Ares 1 fan as far as its, you know, usability is concerned, but it did occur to me that I had never tried out an Ariane 5 tank on top of a Falcon 9. And so that's what we're going to check out here. We're going to check out an Ariane 5 on top of a Falcon 9, and then we're going to have a few variations thereof. Well, at least one major variation, but it, it might take some doing because we don't know exactly how well this can get to orbit or with what mass. Right now I've got 18 tons on here, which I think will be good enough to allow us to reserve fuel in the first stage. But this is the KK Launcher's Falcon 9, and it says Block 4. So, and I think the Merlins, um, as far as their configuration, uh, they say plus plus, but I don't know about the stats. They look pretty good, but I don't know if it's the latest upgrade or not. So we might have to compare to an earlier version of Falcon 9 than in what they currently have, I'm not sure. Uh, so keep that in mind. I put 18 tons on there, just judging from the Delta V. And the question is, should we underfuel the Ariane 5 stage? Right now it's fully fueled. And by the way, the Ariane 5 tank is basically the same as the Ariane 6 tank. The difference is the engine. And actually I've cheated here. Um, oh, I've cheated on the grid fins floating around there too. Uh, I'm using the Vulcane 2, which is for Ariane 6. Uh, so this is, or sometimes it's called Vulcane Mark 3, just to confuse me. But this has more thrust, otherwise uh, we certainly will have to underfuel the Ariane 5 stage if it didn't have that much thrust. So that is a modification. And yeah, so effectively this is an Ariane 6 tank. Uh, or Ariane 6 stage and not an Ariane 5 stage, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but anyway, what happens? I mean, we've got this thing that looks like an Ares 1 and that's unfortunate, but at least it isn't an SRB. So as far as vibrational loads are concerned, it's still pretty horrible actually. Uh, going through Max Q, it probably won't be great. Uh, and they probably have to strengthen the Falcon 9 stage to make this work out at all. And coming back down, there's probably going to have to be heat shielding here if we want to keep the inner stage instead of destroying it. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on here. But let's see what it could theoretically carry to orbit while maintaining enough fuel for the Falcon 9 stage to land. Ah, right. I still have the shuttle stuff here at Pad 39A. I hope uh, nobody's too concerned about that. We're uh, keeping that instead of the SRBs. How about that? Okay, so uh, here we go. We probably won't be getting too far out with the first stage because it needs to do a lot of work tossing the Ariane 5 stage up because the Ariane 5 stage is going to take a long time to burn, more than 8 minutes, compared to about 6 minutes for the Falcon 9 stage. Uh, it does have more thrust than the Merlin 1D vacuum, but that is heavier overall. So anyway, ignition. And launch. All right, so I'm going to reserve 10% of the launch fuel, which is about 14 seconds. That should be good enough for anything, return to launch site or whatever. So we would get a little bit more for a drone ship probably. But the drone ship would have to be fairly close to the coast. This is not getting very far out. Now you might go like, well why not just replace the Ariane 5 boosters with Falcon 9s? Well I think just looking at this you can see what the problem with that might be. Um, the Falcon 9s have got to be taller than the core of the Ariane 5. It's going to look horrible. Uh, but you get to keep the Ariane 5 upper stage as well, if you want it. Uh, we don't have the Ariane 5 upper stage here. We could carry that as well too here. 
bad it would make this longer even than it already is. So this is the Ariane 5 body from Real Skill Boosters. I've basically carried it along with saves for a long time now. Especially the saves where I do rocket testing like this. I have my own Ariane 6 core stage and that's part of my Real Rockets pack but obviously I wanted to have it be Ariane 5 even though I'm cheating using the wrong engine. We're not supposed to talk about that. Okay, that's 14 seconds, and I'm releasing the fairings here anyway. Ah, vapor and feed lines. Uh, maybe we should hot stage. <laughs> that's the thing to do these days, isn't it? Okay, right, let's try that again. As far as whether the volcano can ignite in midair, I don't see any indication that it can't actually, but if you know better, tell me. But I mean, you know, there might be a presumption that, you know, stages that light on the ground need to light on the ground, but I'm not actually sure that that's a requirement for the volcano or not. So, yeah. Uh, if you know whether it needs to or not, tell me. But I do know that in the RO configurations, they've added the fact that certain engines are ground lit only and Volcane did not have that. Volcane is not a ground light only. So yeah. Well that said let's try to ignite. Let's just ignite as soon as we release and do the fairings uh, later. So off we go. I like Volcane though, because it's fairly light overall. It has a very good thrust to weight ratio for a hydro hydrogen oxygen engine. The core stage isn't so light. I mean, as an upper stage without having to deal with the boosters, we could probably lighten it up a bit. I mean, it's the thrust of the boosters along the side that it has to deal with uh, that make it heavier. Yeah, we could probably do with a lighter tank, but then it wouldn't be an Ariane 5 on top of... You know, I, I need to go steeper. That's the trouble of talking while doing these things. Okay, just let it stay there for a bit. So yeah, if we want, re wanted to remake this and just use the Volcane, we would have a lighter tank. We do not have to deal with wind gusts in the game. So, whether it is viable or not, well, the Ares 1 designers thought it might be. Okay, off. Okay, it's lit this time. We'll keep the fairings for a little bit. We'll also keep the spitch for a little bit too, because otherwise it's going to end up going down. Um, well, at least it's picking up speed, so it could be worse. Our vertical speed is going down quickly though. Okay, fairings. Oh, and we are launching out of Cape Canaveral, so presumably out of Kuru this would be better. All right, we dropped a bit, but we are picking up here. We should just barely be all right. Okay, last little bit here. And shut down. 230 by 152, 19 meters per second left. Now we're reserving a fairly healthy amount in the Falcon 9 first stage uh, for its return. So maybe we can do more, but it looks like 18 tons is definitely it. So, I mean, at least as far as I'm concerned, I don't think we're going to squeeze too much more, even if we fudge some numbers here and there. So, what else can we do with this? Well, let's go for the non-reusable option. And in this case, I would like to copy a different rocket, not the Ares 1 style at all, but the Delta 3. And in order to do that, we are going to add boosters. Not Falcon 9 boosters, no, 
uh, AJ 60 A's and these are from Atlas 5 and we have nine of them just like Delta 3 would have had now uh, the Franca 9 trunk is quite a bit longer than the Delta 3's Thor core stage Thorish core stage if you will uh, so it looks quite a bit different than your Delta 3 it looks like a Delta 3 that's been stretched out uh, but we're hoping to carry 45 tons to orbit with it, and we're gonna see if that works out. I still haven't underfueled the upper stage. Uh, it's possible that underfueling the Ariane 5 stage would get us better performance than 18 tons in the re reusable format. I don't know if it'll do any good here. Uh, we'll be boosting it up with plenty of time for it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I believe this would still allow the core to be recovered, but we can't fit the landing legs very well like this. That's the only thing. Um, if you can figure out how to fit nine boosters on and still have landing legs, well, then maybe it'd work out. Because I don't think it's going to end up if too fast to land on a drone ship. But, uh, of course, we would have to reduce the payload. So, Ariane Falcon 9x9 is what I've called it. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. SAS on, throttle is up. Why are we at the regular pad? I, I'm launching directly after our previous launch at 39A, and here we are at the regular launch pad at Cape Canaveral. I don't know why it relocated me here. Sometimes Kerbal Constructs is weird. I'll, I'll just take it though. Uh, we might as well, since we have the shuttle facility on the other one. So, ignition. And launch. Now we're doing the air lighting 3 thing, just like the Delta 3 would have. So we don't have overwhelming thrust weight ratio, we just have good thrust weight ratio. It's better than before anyway. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. Okay, air light. And separation. They should be in two sets of three, not all six at the same time, but it's fine. What if the boosters outlast the core? Uh oh. Well, let's throttle down. Oops. Oh no, the boosters. I should have just throttled down the engines from the start, I think. Okay, well, this was not as intended. <laughs> And these, I don't think, have any gimbling. Forgot about this wrinkle. Okay, separation. And on we go. Bearings. Okay, yeah, definitely was way too optimistic about the pitch. Let me try that again, but steeper. So this time we'll try to make sure that the core lasts longer than the boosters as well. So we'll throw down soon after launch. So ignition. And launch. But we still have to maintain enough thrust to control the rocket because the Merlins are the ones that do that. The boosters can't gamble. So throwing down a bit here. But you know what? Um, that might hurt us right now. Let's wait on that a bit. We don't have that high a thrust weight ratio to throw down that far. Okay, maybe through max skew and everything, we can throw down here. Oh, I'm way steep though. Well, we needed to go steeper anyway. It's not efficient to throw down like this, so that's the rub here. Okay, airlets. separation okay boosters off next 
next stage. Pairings. Well, it's going to be a tough call right now. Okay, we're definitely in not quite territory here, but we'll see how far off we are and judge from that what payload we could carry. We'd be better off if we didn't have to throw back the main engines though. We should try launching, launching with all nine boosters lit and see if that helps. It probably will. So like this, it was basically 500 short, let's say. Uh, we've got some residuals there, but 500 short. But I think it could be better if we just light all nine boosters, so let's just do that. Up, oh, suddenly we're at pad 39A again. Well, I'll just go with it. SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. And launch. Well, now we have full vigor. And we gotta keep it that way. We're already past the speed of sound. Alright, that's it for the boosters. Okay, don't hurt anything. Alright, they're off cleanly. They'll knock into each other, but that'll be fine. Okay, tossing up much higher than before because of all the thrust. Hopefully that means we won't have to pitch too far above the prograde vector with this. We will see. Okay, we've ended up a lot higher up and trying to manage the fact that our vertical speed is not favorable at the moment. But we should be able to make it here. Okay, that's good enough. 301 by 186 with some to spare and probably not the best trajectory, but 45 tons. So this isn't a good rocket. <laughs> let's let's set the, let's set that aside for a sec. Uh, this this is not something I would advise, but it was just a curiosity, and we have found out the effects of doing this. So with that, enjoy the final Ariane 5 launch. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.